We think that with this scoreboard, we'll be able to show new statistics, we'll be able to show in-game uh, replays at a much crisper level. Uh, and this is something that whether you're in the lower bowl, upper bowl, anywhere in the arena, you're gonna have an incredible fan experience. These displays are built in Brookings, South Dakota. We build them from component level to display level. We start by building a 14 by 14 mod, which is the building blocks of our display. It then goes into a housing, which can build almost any configuration. The size is 25 feet tall by 29 feet wide, which is approximately the size of a two and a half story house. It weighs 71,000 pounds, so it's rather large. What will end up happening is it comes up and down and it can be stored at different heights for, let's say, basketball obviously, and hockey has different game trims. So it can be set based on a building and their sight line issues. There are displays underneath for the floor seats to look up and see a video. You see this thing, you know, the scoreboard going up, start to picture, uh, you know, what that first starting lineup announcement is going to look like. Our scoreboard is lit and going for the first time. See the boards in the undercarriage that you can actually see 15 to 20 rows up. So no more neck aches looking at a scoreboard. It's about a 50% surface increase from the Bradley Center. And the Bradley Center did not have a small scoreboard to put it in perspective. So the neat thing about this is the geometry of it. It's actually one clean board all the way around. So although it looks like it's separated, it's only separated through pixels. The scoreboard here in the arena, uh, the video displays on that scoreboard are the four largest displays that are of equal size of any arena in the NBA. It's bigger, it's badder, it's tighter pixel pitch than most everything out there.